and welcome back to Earth and Ivy. I'm gonna do a quick stream this evening, just uh, wanted to knock out a few things I've been thinking about here in about 30 minutes or so. So when we last left our fort, we had kind of finished uh, smoothing out the temple area up here. It's this area around here. Now I have it set up as kind of just the generic temple. In fact, let's rename that here. This is just a um, basic temple area. But I've left all of these side rooms. So when I do some temple design, you always need to have five by five for them to dance. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I often leave three spots for me to put something. You got to put a chest in. I often put a statue to help remind me of the purpose of that temple, and then I'll put an altar. So I left room for six zones here for me to build temples to the most common gods that my dwarves are interested in. And then I'll make each one grab the wall below it. So let's just make that here real quick. So that's one zone. This is... This is the next zone. This is the next zone. And we can grab the wall below it. The top one is grabbing the top wall. Okay, so. We now have six zones. So let's figure out what gods we want to go where. Let's start just kind of uh, work our way clockwise. We'll start up here. So we're going to go to the zone area again. I want to make it a meeting area, L for assigned location, add a location, T for temple. Now you'll see here we have a bunch of different gods that they can worship, and I've already set one for the god of death. So we, we already got that in the tomb area. So let's roll down and just look for who has some of the most worshippers and set up those top six. So let's see, Zephan has 46. Bigger numbers. A lot of single worshippers here. We also have these groups who have worship multiple gods potentially. But it looks like the Zephyrin is our number one target here. Z E F O N, the Torrid. So there it goes, it's for him. And then what I'm going to do is go to manager. Let's make a glass statue. Go to details. And I want to relate it to. What did I say? It was uh, F. No, I can't remember. Let's look for Torrid. Is that from the Torrid? There it is. There we go. So now we'll make a glass statue. And while we're also at it, I want glass boxes, green glass boxes. I'm gonna need six of those. Glass altar, six of those. And now they're gonna start working on those. And if we go here, we can see right now this temple dedicated to Zephon has a value of 209, so nothing really. It's just some rock that's been smoothed. But as we put in a good statue, we can also have them start engraving this. So let's just do that and see if we can get anything increased value there. All right, let's, let's force them to do it here. start engraving that. Now our guys have been doing some smoothing, so they should have gotten a little better at this. Hopefully we'll see if they can carve anything worth anything. But it does increase the value of that temple. Alright, everybody's putting their own personal touch on this. Someone decides to leave their uh, pickaxe, I assume. Yeah, good job, buddy. 
right, if we look down here, it's now worth 479, so not much. But we'll throw a statue in there, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we can grave more if we have to. But there's now a temple here for anyone who wants to worship it. It probably looks like... He's worshiping right now. And they haven't begun construction of that statue yet. It's so, alright, let's go to I, let's do the next one. M, L, A for new temple. T for temple. Who's the next guy? So he has 46. What's the next big number? I see 27. 33 is the biggest so far. 33. 34. But 34. Everyone's here small. So, a mud, the godly. There we go. Last statue. Detail. Oops, the filter. Amud the Godly. There he is. That's what I want. Moving on down. Continuing on. Let's make this a new area. Temple. Let's do that 33 here. K A D O L. Kadol. What was this one? Just Kadol, let's check him out. A deity, yep, that's him. Let's get these carved. So now we got three little mini chapels inside our temple structure here. And that'll actually suit most people. You see people are even step, already stepping in to do a little worship. Because we've got the 46 people and the 34 people and the 33 people. So this will help kind of start scratching some of those need to worship itches. Who are you? Interesting. Dingo Woman Scholar. Well, come on in. Statues. Nothing yet. Okay, well, they're busy. Okay, so after those, let's do this next one here. So we've got Zephan, got Kadol, we have Ostar, we have Amud. So who's the next biggest deity here? Probably back up here. Burr Cave Cobalt. Get that 
the carving too. Not doing that. I want to continue to drill down on this to make the fall much worse for any invaders. Zephan, we got a burr. We don't have Tobo yet, he's 17. This would be a, a Shash Saffron paint. Alright. Glass statue. This is also scratching the crafting itch for all of my miners who I have as engravers. This counts as crafting for them. It can count as crafting for masterwork as well if they make a really good engraving. So it's a good way to kind of get scratch that itch for your folks while improving the value of rooms. All right, quarterly save. Autumn has come. Take a look, make sure we're good on everything we need to be good on. Yep. Oh, we have a mandate from the mayor. Make windows? I think we already have them set to do that, but let's... Oh, I see. What do you want? Call wheel the meanness of teeth. I'm not going to part with that. You can't have our... You can feel free to look at any of our treasures. They're laid out nicely. Which one did you want? Nope. Nope. Which one was it? This guy here. The Schist Crown. Yep. This guy right here. Nope, nope, you can't have it. It's locked behind a fortification. Mine forever. Build statue. Let's see if they have that first statue ready here. <clears throat> statue here. I got a Dorite one, but I need a green statue. Zephanatory. They must be moving it around. Control of actions. Silvery Chapel. No, let's put that in there. I want to build that offering place. We should have started making uh, altars. Statue. Enter. Next. I'm 
So I get those statues finished. But then we can just look and see who the statue's of and know where the chapel is. Oh, we've been practicing this whole time. Let's see how we're doing on saving all these bolts. Oh, you just started practicing again. We'll figure that out in a minute. Dodging demonstrations. Good. And it looks like the pit's gotten deeper. So let's go again deeper. It's all done, I feel better about the little chapels I've made my dwarves. They all have a place they can go worship in. Helps build their happiness. statue work. Sandstone's gonna be the wrong color. We're gonna have to make a couple of schist boxes. Rock coffer. Let's make two. Details make those out of schist. There we go. Okay, all the bedrooms are finished up. So everyone's got what they need. Let's check to make sure there's no one without a bedroom. We have unknown bedrooms four, so we're near capacity, but we're ready to start carving out some of these other bedroom areas. And then let's just confirm here. Shosh Severn paint in a lavender shrine. Sign one more of these. Meeting L A T. We do not have anything for it yet. 
who's got enough followers. Down here, famous. No, we got Zephyrin. We have two bolt. I don't think we have two two bolt. Okay, two bull it is. Glass statue. Two bull. statue in. All of our chapels are now complete. But we never made a statue for also, I just realized this, this is annoying me now. You need to be opened up. Did I already make one? Let's find out. Or do I have one? No, I don't have one, so we're going to have to make one more statue, because the Abbey of Death O-Star. that made up and then our temple area is looking much better. The giantess. Okay. Well, let's um let's see where she is. Giantess, go to follow. Here she comes. Chasing, chasing a scholar, okay. That's unfortunate. That's what he gets for visiting. All right, in you come. Walking down. And if you'd walk right into one of those um, traps, that'd be great. Oh, who's leaving? Oh, oh, brother. Oh, yeah, you really shouldn't visit. Really shouldn't visit. Gotcha. Okay. That's all unfortunate. More points. Do you have any clothing? <laughs> DBC. Yeah, I can use all that stuff. You don't mind? Come pick that up. Oh, there's this book here. They're already coming to get that. Okay. Anybody else get killed out here? Where's another guy got killed? Visitors are four. Who are you? Okay, another human. It's fine. This will give us some extra clothes for other humans who happen to visit. Should we put <clears throat> our caged visitor? Should I put it on here for now? Oh, they're probably waiting to move that. Okay. 
All right. Problem with quantum stockpiles is sometimes things are waiting to be tasked. melting. There it goes. This other one's interesting because I asked for, asked for Ashtar, but I didn't get it. Give me some more information on this one. Designed image of Gold the Dwarf and the Deed. Okay. Sure, that one works. We can go with that. Thank you. Perfect. They add some ambiance. So now I got a completed temple area. Oh, actually, I also had them make some containers for in here. Should I put this? Put it here. So then we're a little low on some musical instruments. Let's see if we can make any of those out of glass. We can, several. Looping horn. We got a lot of these things. Huge stationary. Handheld, so I want a couple of those. Okay. What's this? Talks the bull. It's huge and stationary, but we'll hold off on that. Maybe I'll install that in the uh, <coughs> in the dining hall later on. Boy, howdy, I missed that notice. Well, that'll be good. Let them finish coming in here. Your liaison. Good, welcome. Discuss, begin discussion. All right. We're actually doing fine on leather, so don't worry about that for now. We could use some silk just in case. Always take some logs. We're okay on silver. What I really need are some extra steel, pig iron to save me, and I want some sweet, sweet gold. A oh, platinum bar or two wouldn't be bad either, so we'll do that. What else do we need? We don't need any of those. Nope. Nope. No, we're pretty self-sufficient after that. You've got a... Uh, gypsum plaster. And... I know I can go mine it, but they have any marble. I'll always take that. Silver nuggets are good. Got plenty of that. Gold nuggets. Yes, cheaper to buy by the by the nugget and melt down. Same thing with platinum. Coal is always good. Uh, plenty of that. So I think that does it. What else do I need from you guys? Sand is always nice. Last we have lye. Bucket splits. Take some of those. Okay. Any fire clay. Alright, that's that. Alright, looks like.
looks good. Finish. Over documents. Yeah. You get what you get. You don't get upset. Alright, you get upset. That's everybody in the training group. So we can open up the doors. For the traders. A, P. Thank you. simple gauntlets. We can do better than this. Send me some of these greaves. And I know we can do better than some of these, so might as well swap them out. Alright. Let's do that. Get the trader down here. Stuff. We'll make some new stuff now that we're more skilled. Birth to a boy. Congratulations. First, let's grab all the bars you got. It's worth a thousand bucks. Here's two thousand dollars for your troubles. Boom. All right, next, let's go down the other way. I need any fancier books you have. You do have books, many books. Good. Copy that book, copy that book, copy that book, copy, copy. It's all three grand, I'll throw five grand on the table, we'll trade. And you're a static, even better. Alright, we got all these codexes here. How much for the lot? Five grand. Alright, that would be part of the big offer then. Let's see what else we have here. Cage. I think I have enough of those, but I'll grab them anyway. Turkey hen. No rabbits give no meat. Water buffalo we can kill. Boar we can kill. And barrel. What have you got in barrels? You can always take those. Alcohol never goes bad. Lie. Good. Ale, rum, ale, rum, milk, rum, wine, beer, beer. Okay. Six thousand. A couple more leather bins. Gonna replace armor with that. Silk. And a rope. So clothes. Everything just silk. You 
of thread. I'll take that. That's 6,800. Throw this on there. Trade your static. Okay. Finally, do you have... Yeah, you have any rocks that are worth it? Yes, you do. Watch your fire clear. Watch your tuna's coal. Your nuggets, nuggets, fire clay. That's right, wood, coal, move. Plenty of those. Wood, wood. It's worth 300. I put some... I put some garbage for that. Bet you'll take it. I don't get sand for free, but it's so much cheaper to buy the bag, use it, and have the bag left over. Maybe steel that's worth taking and melting. trade. We'll leave that there. Alright, so we've done what we wanted to do tonight. We got the temple all set up. That's good. We did some brisk trading. You can reveal the location all you want. It's in the library. I don't know why they're like, oh, he revealed the location, the item on display. It just doesn't make any sense why they're so upset about that. Still trying to pick these things up. Yeah, get them there. start cutting up some more rooms to get them ready. Praying, that's good. They get out of their system.
the left cheek is dented. That's very sad. We are in a green glass cage. Okay. We should put her safekeeping. They're very busy, and they're not getting their jobs done here. Storing, good. Rendering fat, fine. Praying, worship, planting seeds. Some combat. More combat. Kids are playing and reciting poetry. By worthless bards. Got a lot of checking. Problem mandates. Okay, now they're starting to clear stuff out. They just got all stuck and had to catch up. All right, I think we're going to end the stream there. Thank you all for your participation. And uh, that's it for Earth and Ivy today. We'll catch you guys later. Thanks.